we are almost coming to the end of our lesson. We are going to be looking at social order, social control, and deviance. We are, at the end of this, you are supposed to understand, you, are, you should be able to explain what social order is, describe social control, understand what deviance is, understand the political perspective on deviance. Let's move. Social order has to do with the manner in which various individual parts, group of societies in the in the society they work together to maintain peace and harmony in the system. If order is not maintained in the society, the survival and continued existence of such a society is threatened. Over 2003 defined social control as a collective term for those processes and agencies planned or unplanned by which individuals are both persuaded or compelled to abide by the usages and respect the values of the group to which they Belong. Let's move. These are self explanatory. Social control has to do with mechanisms put in place to ensure obedience. Social control. Social control. So, mechanisms that have been put in place to ensure obedience, compliance, and conformity to values, norms, and laws in the society. So, those mechanisms are put in Socialization is the primary agent of social control. This is because through socialization, individuals in society learn and internalize standards of society and consequently exercise restraints on themselves, consciously or unconsciously. Social control is a mechanism of bringing to order individuals who deviate from the prevalent norms of the society. So social control. We have we have the police as we have the police there, we have laws, uh, we have even traditional mode of, mode of social control. Goals of uh, social control is to maintain social order. Social control involves the, re involves the regulation and enforcement of norms. That's correct. So, deviance. Deviance involves acts that do not conform to the norms and expectations. That do not conform to the norms and expectations of a society. And, though, and these acts are sanctioned in most cases. Now, let me now say something about deviance. Because you may not understand. We have sometimes, let me just bring it to this level. Deviant art. Sometimes this is somebody will do something, say, ah, oh, this is, this is a crime. But this deviant. Mm -mm. Have you been to a funeral uh, environment where everybody is supposed to look very, very solo? Everybody is supposed to look very solo. Uh, something bad has happened. You wear a very long face and you put your hands like this. Now, it is not expected for any to start smiling and start laughing at that environment within our own cultural setting. But there is no law that prohibits you from laughing or smiling in an environment like that where everybody is supposed to put long faces. There is no law. So once you start smiling and start laughing in an environment like that, that's a deviant act. You may not really be punished, but people you have deviated from the standard of norm of that cultural environment. So the deviant act may you may not really be punished. You may not really be punished. You may not really, I can't say you may, you may not really be punished. But deviant acts, they are different from, from a criminal. Different because criminal acts are formalized and they stipulate the consequences that the person wants to do. So deviance is relative, and there is no absolute way of defining a deviant act. If you watch, I only give an expression, I give an example. I did not even give a very straight definition of deviance. That is it. Deviance is culturally determined. So what the society Look at as a deviant act may not be the same thing from may not be the same as what our society may also deem as a deviant act. So it is the society that determine what act is deviant. Individual status is ascribed to them through social processes, you know, because individuals are not born deviant here, but become deviant through their interaction with reference groups, institutions, and authorities. Let's move sir. Theoretical perspectives on deviant behavior. We're going to look at 
structural functional, functional analysis, symbolic interaction analysis, and social conflict analysis. Social functionalism, I want to say that social functionalism and optionalism, they are the same. They are the same. Structural functionalism and functionalism as a theory in sociology. Functionalists are generally concerned with how different elements of the society contribute to both. How different elements like the functionalism always make use of organist analogy, telling you that society is like an organism with different parts, and each of these parts they were working, they are functioning to make sure that the whole society is in order. So functionally perspective is seen just as a key component of functioning society. We are we are so sometimes into that. See one thing with functionalism is that even prostitution or any crime is not even wrong in society. So they see every social phenomenon as good, as functional. You know. So functionally perspective is seen just as key component of functioning society. So if you come to a society where there is no legal and there is no crime, that society is not functional. That is from that perspective. Yeah. So in my down kind, in 1964, a former functionalist has said that deviance is not abnormal. <laughs> and that, that it performs four functions that help the social system. One, affirmation of cultural values and norms. A response to deviance helps society to clarify moral boundaries, to tell us this is the extent you can go, this is not the extent you can go, these are the things that you do, so you know you are living. Respond to deviance. Responding to deviance promotes social unity and deviance encourages social change. Yeah. If something continues to happen, before you know it, there will be a revolution, there will be something like that that will now be thrown in new order. So, to the functionalist, therefore, deviance is a necessary product of social living and does not depend on how good or how bad individuals in society are. Symbolic interaction analysis. Symbolic interaction analysis is a theoretical perspective that can be used to describe how societies, social groups, view behaviors as div deviant or conventional. Central to symbolic internationalism in analyzing deviance is emphasis on social processes that make deviant activities and identities to be socially defined and then lived by individual members of the society. This approach argues that society and government create deviance first by making rules and then apply it to people who are there by the bed outsiders. Deviance is not intrinsic, it's not inside in individual, but it is created through social inter interaction of individual and various authorities. It's not intrinsic, it is as a result of social inter interaction. And that is where the issue of the the theory of social learning come into play. Because we learn, we have some people that we look up to as models. If the people do like this, we do like this. If they do like this, we do like this. If they talk like this, we talk like this. So you make some, you look up to people as authority, you model your life after them. You know, social learning, you learn from what these people they do. So conflict, social conflict analysis. The social conflict that they look to social and economic factors as causes of deviance and crime in society. To the conflict theories, deviance is evidence of social inequality. Mm -hmm. Deviance and crime are seen by conflicts as ways in which individuals try to cope with oppressive conditions. So, you see, you see deviance and crime are seen as are seen by conflict theories as ways in which individuals try to cope with oppressive conditions. So people resort into crime, into deviant behavior, because the conditions are too oppressive for them. For them. So criminal justice system is a mechanism used by exploiting class, by the exploiting class to maintain political and economic order. So the people at the top, they use uh, criminal justice, if you do bad, if you are not my friend, I will use it to silence you. Let's go to the next. 